Very much looking forward to the campaign. Uh, as you know, since I became First Minister, I have been going right across the province, visiting uh, different community groups, different schools, uh, and I found that really uplifting, actually, and motivating. So I'm looking forward now uh, to concentrating on the job of hand, putting out the positive vision that we have for Northern Ireland uh, and getting out around the country. Obviously, this time as party leader, uh, I have a bigger responsibility in, in respect of all my candidates across the country. But I'm looking forward very much in getting out in Fermanagh and South Throne as well. Yeah. Fermanagh and South Throne obviously is very dear to your heart as well, Arlene, isn't it? Oh, very much so. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and it's uh, it's home. Uh, it's where I was brought up. It's where I live. Uh, and I love it very much. And I would never uh, move away from Fermanagh and South Throne. So uh, I'm very much looking forward to going out there, putting forward what we have achieved over this past five years, and then talking about what we are looking to do in the next five years. And this campaign as well, obviously being First Minister, there's a certain amount of pressure maybe to, that you may feel to get back in. Do you see that it's a race between you and Mark McGuinness to get back in at the top as First Minister? Well, I, I think that is the reality and all political commentators that I have listened to are certainly saying that there's only uh, two parties who can be the largest party uh, after the elections are over. And if you look at the number of candidates that people are standing, uh, it's very clear who, who those two parties are. Uh, it's ourselves and Sinn Féin. But, you know, I'm not worried about that. I have I go out into this election to win the election uh, and I'm very much looking forward to putting my message to the people. And it's not a scaremongering thing whenever you say about the you know, the race between you and Martin McGuinness as First Minister? No, it's not at all. In fact, it's just a reflection of reality. I think people need to... We would be badly criticised if we weren't telling people what the reality of the situation was. I've told them what the reality is, and now I'm moving on uh, to deal with all of the issues that I want to talk about uh, in the future. And do you see any parties outside of Sinn Féin or DUP as a, a threat now for these elections going forward? Well, you know, n none of us should ever take the electorate for granted. That's absolutely the case. And on election day everybody has as much power as the next person and that's the most important thing about the democracy in which we live in that everybody exercises their right to vote uh, and to do that uh, in a proactive way they should listen to all of the uh, policies and agendas that each of the parties have and each of the party leaders have and then make up their mind for my part I believe that we put forward a positive vision for Northern Ireland moving forward in terms of infrastructure health education uh, more and better jobs and family budgets we want to protect family budgets, which I think is a very important issue as well.